what's up? So, I bet you're wondering who I am and stuff. Well, I'm just an animation, and we're going to talk about vampires. So for the first problem, there's a town with 140 people with one vampire. And the, each time the vampire bites its victim, that person becomes a vampire as well. A new person gets bit every week, so how long would it take till everybody's a vampire in the town? In the first week, there would only be 139 humans and one vampire, meaning that nobody's been bitten yet. So this is only the start. Then, in the second week, one, one vampire would bite one human, so there would be 138 humans and two vampires. The graph would look like this. In the third week, there should be two vampires, so that they each bite one victim and there will be four vampires at the end. That leaves 136 humans and four vampires. And this will just keep happening and happening. And in eight weeks, they'll all... No, not me. Weirdo. Anyway, at this rate, in just eight weeks, all humans would become vampires. This is the completed graph. But what about the world? If the disease could continue to spread and infect other places, how long would it take until everywhere is dead? Well, everywhere is infected at least. 2 to the power of 33 is around 7 billion, even though it's a bit over. So that means that in 33 weeks, 7 billion people would become infected with the virus. And that's quite fast, if you ask me. So, next question. Act 2, Infected. So for this scenario, there's one infected person with the vampire virus, and this person comes in contact with five different healthy people a week. I have something to say to you, and it is important to me to say it. In one week, every person infected with the virus is guaranteed to die. So how long would it take for a town of 140 people to go down? Well first we have to find out how many people die in a week, which is five. So each week, the amount of infected people is multiplied by 5. This means that the first week, there are 25 people infected. And then, also, in the same way, the dead every week is the infected divided by 5. So in the first week, there's one person infected, and then in the second week, there's 5 people infected and 1 dead. For the third week, there's 25 people infected and 6 people dead, and for the fourth week, there's 125 people infected and 31 dead. And this just goes on forever. But how long would it take to get to the whole town dead? Well, obviously, 125 is pretty close to 140, so it would only take one more week. But one more week is 625 people, which is way more than 140. So, how many towns can be dead in five weeks? 625 divided by 140 is roughly four, so that means that in five weeks, four towns can die. So that virus spreads pretty fast. 